What's up, everybody? I'm the Radioactive Renegade, as always. And seeing as how last episode was pretty janky, I'm going to go ahead and record another one to put up of D4, Dark Dreams Don't Die. Now, I feel absolutely stupid. I had to look up how to die. I, I did, and I feel stupid because... You have to do it in the one room I didn't think I had to go back to. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. Also, I'm getting uh, one of the rooms set up to be a little recording studio, so hopefully, if all goes well, I won't be recording on a couch too much longer. But you won't have that uh, nice little um, dream catcher behind me. My vape bugged out on me. Hmm. Oh well. Alright, we are back. Now, I've pretty much done everything I can possibly do out here. And here's why I feel stupid. I go here. There's medicine in there. I'll grab that when I need it. But yeah, you go in here, apparently. Ready. Thanks for all the help. Huh. No problem, David. We're partners. I may have quit the force, but that fact won't change. trace it all the way back if I hadn't asked you to join up in the first place Teddy got it yeah if you can't tell my wife sitting here right next to me she likes to watch me do this don't give me that look Amanda I'm just trying to give him a reason to live get it in time. Oh yeah, I did. Confidential. Because that helps a lot. My vape Little keeps... Teddy. Time has been frozen for me since that day. <laughs> Will I see you this time? Ah, <laughs> oh, right trigger. Okay, well, see, I feel stupid. This is the end of the prologue episode. Or, prologue, anyway. Eh, I forgot to turn my phone off. Give me two ticks, I'll do that right now. Proceed to the next episode. I'm not going to leave you with just four minute video. Hey, <laughs> you know I'm not that way. <laughs> this is a story of a man with a very strange fate. Haven't we already seen this? Hey, look. It's like I've grown wings. This seems very familiar. Uh, 
that wasn't. Somebody got dead. Interesting. The laboratory on an airplane. Another successful dive. A bunch of memories called mementos. Allows me to dive into the past. The day little Peggy was killed, I survived. Miraculously, somehow, I survived. In exchange for losing my memory, I gained its power. That has to be a sign of something. The past will surely tell me the truth. Excuse me, I got the burps. Don't know why. Look for the kid of the Who that? Hey, little lag there. Sorry. Just who is D? Silence that voice is to change my fate. The reason there's so much lag on this game, or like Dark Souls and all that, is I'm actually streaming it to my computer from my Xbox. So there's bound to be a little Wi Fi interference. I do apologize for that. Let's see. Like you've just seen a ghost. My apologies, Olivia. You just look so much like an old girlfriend of mine. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Just for a second, I actually thought little Peggy had come back to life. Things are getting interesting. Oh, uh, I have to get back to work. Sure. No problem, Olivia. Just one thing, sir. You're surely aware that we carry a passenger list aboard. Huh. Memorized it, have you? We don't take kindly to stowaways, if that's what you are. A stowaway, am I? Well, Miss Olivia Jones. Maybe you're on to me. Strawberry flavor, of course. But he hates bubblegum. I don't want to use too much. Wait, I 
missed that. Sorry if I jiggled the microphone there. Ah, uh, but. <laughs> okay then. Alright. So that used stamina for no reason. Got it. Let's do this. Got it, okay. Bet pen to bullet wound. You're a United States Marshal. You're transporting a key witness, but reading a completely different file. Does that just mean you're passionate about your job? Or is there something else going on here? You. What are you doing here? Derek Buchanan. United States Marshal. The owner of the memento I used to get here. Along with a name that starts with D. Two signs I can't ignore. <sighs> I said I'd kill you if I saw you again. Didn't I, boy? It seems we've already met somewhere. Side. Quit your jabbering. Why do you keep sticking your nose into this case? I've got a question for you, too. Why do you only investigate cases related to real blood? Antonio Rabbit Zapatero. <laughs> real blood. Apparently, he also has evidence that could lead to the identity of D. If that's true, it makes him the most important person on this flight. You really have a death wish, don't you? Yet you might be the one who dies. How dare you? You should get out as quickly as you can. I'll keep the fountain pen. To remember you by. Well, that was, um... Interesting. Souvenirs from the trip. Peanuts. Pepper cheese flavor. Huh. Cool. <laughs> Alright, well. I'm done with that. Still can't do anything. Wasted stamina for nothing. Mineral water, that might help me out. Yep, a division. Okay. And what is this? Snow on the front, and cherry blossoms on the back. They change them according to the season. It isn't totally atrocious, but hardly our What the hell I'd expect no less is with that hair? Would it have killed them to use a little real stitching? Honestly. And who might you... I don't ask for opinions from the uninspired. Suki, baby, what do you think? Dress all the seats white, then 
crown them with a single pink stag beetle? Oh, yes! Or maybe change all these to black lights, but not too dramatic. Just play Does straight. your mannequin ever reply? She's not a mannequin. She's my partner. She is? Yes, she is. I'm Duncan, and this is Suki. We're top fashion designers, the both of us. <clears throat> Duncan, so this guy's also a beat. Some people just don't get it, no matter how many times you tell them. My bad, I'm sure. Can I ask you something? I don't need your opinion. After all, I have Suki. The sunglasses in particular are strikingly progressive, don't you think? This is avant-garde. The epitome of my next theme. Sorry about the lag again, guys. <laughs> Blocking the aisles can move. Now I can expand my search area a little wider. Oh, good. Problem? The west side window. The sun's setting there, so that's the west. The west side window, the angle of the setting sun, that is the left side in regard to our direction of travel. That window right there, that window made a noise, didn't it? You heard it, right? My left ear and left joints going to Washington, D.C. by lame nonsense. Absolute nonsense. She has her name written on everything she owns. She's a D2? This is so bad. This plane is going down. It's okay. There's no problem. Oh, shut your mouth. There were lightning strikes on the flight over. There's most definitely a problem. The window will keep on creaking. Suddenly, it will break. We'll turn like crazy. Lightning will hit us again. A direct hit. Lightning? Yes. Lightning. It'll blow an engine up this time, that's for sure. And what happens then, Mr. No Problem? This plane won't be flying anymore. You agree with me now, right? This plane is going down! No. This plane didn't crash. To admit, I didn't expect to ever see you again. I can't imagine why. <sighs> this flight attendant seems to know me. I have no idea when I met him, however. For me, our first meeting is a past that hasn't happened. Twice the stubborn mule. The type who won't stay dead even if he gets killed, maybe. Oh, I wonder. <laughs> if you're going to cause trouble, I may have to eject you from the game. Trouble? Me? 
Your watch was about to fall off. It looks expensive, so I didn't think you'd want to lose it. I'm just a polite, helpful passenger. Look, ref, if you're gonna bench anyone, bench her. And I heard it, and if you don't listen to me, I don't know what to do. A lot of talking. Sorry for my silence. Now I've got three people with names that start with B. Okay, Jeff she... Anderson, Duncan, and Derek Buchanan. To be honest, I still don't know if any one of them is here or not. But there's a bag load of room for suspicion. Isn't that right, little Peggy? Okay. She is either batshit crazy or she can see the future. I don't know what's up with Pretty Boy right there. Um, yeah. Okay, so the only things are there and up there. All right. Snow and cherry blossoms. A seasonal theme, I'm guessing. Okay. There's my hand. It was hidden behind my face. All right, let's see. What do we got here? The Metro M. That's the subway in D.C. The Boston MBTA uses a P symbol, so this ticket was used in D.C. Okay, I don't get that, but whatever. Sorry, I got a fly in here still, and it's annoying me. Uh, okay, I see some food up there. Grab that. that help my vision up a little sure why not I'm probably going to fail this but it is what it is There's nothing here. So that was for nothing. <sighs> yep. My stamina's out. Alright. That would be a game over, unfortunately. But I will give this another try in the next episode. I have a feeling there's a few things back at the main house I could have done to up my stamina before I came here because I only came with 70. Um, yeah, so we will do this again in the next episode, see what, um, what we can do better. And anyway, if you're watching, well, you are watching this on YouTube. What am I doing? This is my Twitch outro. Anyway, if you like the video, Nuke that like button for me, and if you subscribe, you'll know when I upload. But in the meantime, I will see you all in the bunker. Bye-bye! <laughs>